everyone, welcome back to yet another video of Mass Edge. And I'm just going to be reviewing uh, some stuff for Lego in 2022. This is Brick Set, a site I go to all the time to get my Lego knowledge, just to check in to see what's coming up for new. I'm not going to review all of this because there's a ton of it. Some of it is just crap, in my opinion. Not all of it's crap, just some of it. I'm just going to do my favorite stuff. Stuff that I care about, like Ninjago, Star Wars, and Marvel, stuff like that. Anyway, let's get started. I will say this about it. These little collectible minifigures, some of them are cool. This would be one of them, the Snow Guardian. I find that a very cool minifigure. The sword's cool. I like the husky with the blue eyes. It's really cool. Might buy this. Don't know. And I'll say if you should buy it or not, pretty much. Uh, I don't care about- there are gonna be some ads, by the way, so I would recommend not reading because I don't know what's gonna pop up, but I got rid of most of them like this, but I don't know what else is gonna pop up. There's a bunch of Mario stuff, more Mario stuff, Ninjago, okay, here we go. Lloyd's Ninja Mech. It looks like, I don't know, I haven't seen the box, but it looks like a junior. Like, you know the little box that say, like, junior on it that are meant for kids? Ninjago, it's gone downhill, in my opinion. I loved the show growing up. It was such a good show. And then I feel like after the Lego Ninja... What? It just went down. After the Lego Ninjago movie came out, and then they switched the animation to match the Lego Ninjago movie, I wasn't as huge of a fan of it. I still like the season, some of them, just not as much as the original season and the animation and pieces that they used for it. Plus, also, after Kirby Moro died, I was so sad about that. Uh, again, rest in peace. Um, they, I didn't know what they were going to do. He was such a huge impact on a lot of the cast members and stuff like that, and just a character in general. And then they decided to replace... If you guys know Ninjago, I never watched the season because they have possessions and ghosts in it, but the possession and ghost season, Moro, the main ghost... The guy who plays him, that's who they got to replace Kirby Moreau. Like, I think I'm just going to stop watching Jago now. It's just no reason for me to finish watching it, I don't think. Uh, but this is about the set. It's about Lloyd Ninja. I haven't seen the season, so I don't... Why does it keep moving? I don't know what it's supposed to be about. I don't really know. That snake's kind of cool. The Lloyd minifigure, it's average. The mech, it, again, the mech is what gets me. It looks like a junior build. Excuse me a second, I need to get a water break. No, I don't always slurp, by the way. I just thought I'd do that for, so you guys could actually tell I'm drinking water. See? Water. Uh, but not my favorite build. No. I'm not going to... 10 bucks, it's a good deal for 10 bucks. I would say that. 10 bucks, good deal. The Lego minifigure, by the way, I think was $4. Usually all of those are... Oh, 5 bucks. Yeah. 5 bucks. A little pricey for just a minifigure, but all in all, good deal for the minifigure and stuff. Jay's Thunder Dragon Evo. Again, I haven't seen the season, so I don't know much about it. Again, that's the snake, it looks like a serpentine or something. Like a new kind of constrict eye from the orange scales, maybe. Jay is not a good minifigure, in my opinion. That does not look good. The dragon is not the best either. It looks like a toddler built this. In my personal opinion. The tail is kind of cool. I want that kind of tail design with the kind of thing with the lightning bolts coming out of it. But the wings attached to the leg and just the headpiece right here is not my favorite. I mean, I would rather have the wings in the middle of the torso like most dragons do. Not attached to the legs. I'm not a fan of that. I will probably not be buying this if I had to take a guess. 20 bucks for 140 piece. That's kind of steep. But I guess it's not too bad for those of you who are like really like this set. Zane's Power Up Mech Evo. I don't know what all these Evos are about. This is kind of cool, actually. The Again, the snake with the kind of uh, gun he's holding, it looks very cool. Zane is a cool minifigure. Titanium Ninja. Oh, you just got a glitch there. Uh, that's a cool minifigure for Zane. The robot actually looks kind of cool. This, doesn't, this actually looks like a Lego, kind of. Uh, the mech design with the kind of hilt thing up there and the flag. And there's not like like the Lloyd mech. There was kind of that joint in the leg that literally looked like a toddler designed it. This just... that I like that. This is a good design for this. Really like this, actually. 
might actually buy this sometime i don't know but it is a very cool set and the ice blades are kind of transparent icy blue so i really like that that is super cool and 10 bucks i would say that is worth it 10 bucks for that like i said is worth it i would say in my personal opinion kai's fire dragon evo what is with all the evos okay from looks at we got a remote controlled guy i'm assuming he's controlling this drone that's a cool kind of drone minifigure kind of thingy i kind of like that i like this jetpack thing that's cool on this kind of serpentine constrict guy whatever these supposed to be i'm not sure that's the best kind of outfit for kai it just doesn't look like something he would wear in my personal opinion the dragon is okay it's oh, it's not great. It's okay. The headpiece is still. I'm not a fan of that headpiece. I don't know why. I just don't, not a fan of it. the The wings, the wings are kind of short too for a dragon. Uh, the leg design is cool. It's a fine leg design. The tail is nice. The old fire piece they used for the old fire dragon a long time ago. It's super overpriced now. Uh, from the Lego Ninjago Fire Temple set. The wings are attached to the shoulders. I'm not a huge fan of that, but I'm it's better than attaching to the legs. But it's okay. It's definitely okay. It's a good set, in my opinion. I might buy it. I've, I I just can't really get past this headpiece. Again, I might buy it, just because I kind of like all the other stuff in it. Kai's not the greatest minifigure. I can get by the headpiece, I guess, if I really tried to. How much is it? 30 bucks? I mean, it's okay, I guess, for 30 bucks, though. I mean, I'd say that probably would be, should, should have been, like, 20, like the other dragon set. Lloyd's Race Cart Evo. Okay, I'm not, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna say the Evos anymore. This is a cool set. That's a cool Ming figure for Lloyd. A kind of miniature guy with a gun and dynamite. A flamethrower one. That's super cool. And these little miniature car. The miniature car kind of makes me feel it's a junior set, but then you got this thing. This thing is super cool. The green color, the double turret at the front and this kind of thing on the back i don't know what this thing is but it's so cool this set is cool i like this set don't know what this is what season this is from though i'm assuming the newest one because these new guys but that is a very cool set. how much is this 30 bucks um 279 pieces for what you're getting you're pretty much paying 30 bucks for the car that's pretty much it. Just the car. Because you could probably buy the minifigure somewhere else. It's just the car is 30 bucks. Uh, it, it's steep. But I would say you could get past it. Because it is a cool set. I would buy it. Ninja Training Center. Wow. Um, this is cool, definitely. Oh, they brought back this thing. I used to have... You know, guys remember the little air jitsu things? Where you, like, attach it and then pull the string. The ninjas would fly off on their air jitsu thing that you built. I had one of those. It was super cool. We would play with them in our neighbor's field because they had a huge field back at our old house that he would allow us to play in. Again, I'm not liking that J minifigure. That's cool. The armor piece and the looks kind of maybe like a orc sword from Lord of the Rings. That's kind of cool. This little mech thing. That's cool. I like that. I like the background. The Zane minifigure is nice. It's also, I'm assuming it's supposed to be spin jitsu, not air jitsu. But this is a cool set. There's not many minifigures. You're pretty much paying for Zane because that minifigure doesn't look cool. And this guy is cool, though. And then this thing. The training ground is also pretty much all you're paying for. It's literally all the set is. How much is it? 40 bucks. Um, eh. I wouldn't say it's worth 40 bucks, but it is a cool set. Very cool set. The Ninja Ultra Combo Mech. Oh, my that is really cool that is super cool uh it looks like a design off of uh lloyd's titan mech from a couple of seasons ago uh looks like a kind of copy off of that uh we got cole right here at uh i can't really see much on the design but it looks cool looks like a dragon maybe printed on his chest i like cole i like zane not a fan of either of their outfits that they have in these lego sets not a fan a little sensei Wu robot Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that Sensei Wu robot. This thing is awesome. This giant with drills on its hand, a sword right here. It's got four arms. It looks like you can maybe lie down and keep moving because it has two wheels on its shoulder and these giant track things on its uh, legs. So you might even be able to lay down and move it and stuff. It's so cool. Don't know what that is. A drone or something. You got these two things. That guy's going to, I guess this guy has these two attached to his hands. 
this guy's piloting this thing. That is a cool. Set. How much is it? Ninety bucks. It's a thousand pieces though. So for ninety bucks and a thousand one hundred and four pieces, I would say that is worth it. That's a decent Lego set for the price that they did. I think that's fine. Lloyd's Legendary Dragon. That is cool. The headpiece, actually, I'm kind of liking the headpiece. That is a cool headpiece. The Lloyd design is fine. Nia design is actually okay. It's a fine Nia. It's okay. The crossbow is super cool. This little miniature guy again. I don't know. Is this supposed to be like a scorpion? has like four arms sticking out that he uses to stab stuff or slash stuff. I don't really know. That's a cool tail piece. I remember this from like the old Hero Factory uh, Dragon Bolt. That was the guy's name. Or from like Bion Bionicle stuff and stuff. Uh, all that good stuff. I'm that's my air pieces, buildable figures and stuff like that. Uh, but I really like this. It's really cool. The green. I like the color green. Uh, my favorite color is orange, but I like the color green. Uh, like a fire orange, not like this like light orange over here. But I like fire orange. Um, but the green is okay. I like the green and the blue. It goes together very well in the gold saddle. It goes together very well. These pieces are hard to put on. I will say that. These little paper pieces that you put on the wings are hard to put on. Like, that's the kind of wings I like. It's kind of like attached to underneath the saddle. Those kind of the wings are beautiful. Beautifully well done. Wonderful set, I would say. Seven. Okay, I'm also worth 70 bucks. Maybe 50 or 60 at the most, but I wouldn't go 70. That's pretty steep. It is a cool set, though. I will say that. And they even got a, a dragon tongue. Yeah, that's a decent set. Oh, we move on. It looks like something new after this one. The Ninja Dojo Temple. Uh, okay, it looks like we, maybe... Oh, no, we don't have all the Ninja. Uh, we're missing Zane and Jay, it looks like. We got Cole. We got Nia, Lloyd, Sensei. That's a cool Sensei. We got Pixel. Oh, that's the first Pixel I've seen in this Lego set theme. It's a decent design for Pixel. Uh, we got uh, this guy again with the two... Dr oh, he has drill bits on the end of it again. Uh, this time. That guy with the two punching bags. Oh, yeah, there's a drill. So I'm assuming that's supposed to be drill bits. There. Uh, Kai, not great. I, I don't like the outfit that they used for him. It just... I don't know what's wrong. It just doesn't look... It needs to uh, kind of like shout something to someone, like catch someone's eye. It just doesn't do that, in my opinion. The miniature... I'm assuming it's supposed to be Samurai X's mech. It's kind of small. Maybe it's bigger in person just because that dojo is there. That dojo is amazing. That is spot on the way they did that dojo. So maybe this is bigger in person. I don't know. It just seems small. It's a decent representation of the old Samurai mech. It's not great. It's got two. It's got three fingers, literally. Three on this one, three on this one. And then just the jointed legs and stuff. It's okay, I guess. The dojo is amazing and stuff like that. How much is it? It's going to be expensive, I bet you. A hundred bucks, actually. Not bad. For over 1,300 pieces. Almost four, uh, almost 1,400 pieces. I'd say that is a good price. You're getting a good bargain for this set for a hundred dollars. I think that's fine. Moving on. What is next? Oh, we got more Ninjago stuff, actually. Jay and Nia's race car. See me need another water break. Hey. Oh, my throat's killing me doing these videos. Please thumb it up. Give give me this video a like. All these videos I'm doing right now. Give them a like, please. It takes a lot of work to do these. And I really appreciate if you guys give it a like. And subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell so you get notified of all the videos I upload. That's a cool weapon that Nia's holding. Yeah, it's an orc sword from Lord of the Rings sets. And that's a cool way they had to did that. Oh, a flamethrower guy with a wrench for some reason. A katana. That's a cool meaning. I like that meaning. And the little helicopter. I like that helicopter design. The helicopter design is cool. I have a feeling Jay's going to look the same like he did in the other ones. I don't like his outfit. The car is cool. It's kind of, again, these dual barrel turrets. I really like that on the cars. And what's it? It's supposed to be like a drone that can launch out or something? That's cool. I like this set. The helicopter, again, is super cool. It reminds me of the one from the Firstborn Lego set that I have. It's really cool. I like these kind of old, like, rusty helicopter designs that are kind of... I don't know. It's like something about them that just are rel... Uh, I don't know what they're looking for. Just pleasing to the eyes. Visually appealing. That's what I'm looking for. A set that catches one's eye is super cool. 
I like this. How much is it? Uh, 50 bucks. Uh, for what you're getting, I say 50 bucks seems fair. It's a cool set for 50 bucks. I say that seems fair for what you're getting. You want, oh, okay, now we got some Star Wars stuff. Snow Trooper Battle Pack. I haven't gotten a battle pack before. Oh, well, did the 501st Legion battle, is that a battle pack? I thought that was a Lego set. I didn't know that was a pack. But look, we got some snow, the snow trooper design is cool. I like these little snow trooper helmets. That turret is really cool. You guys remember my uh, uh, Lego design that I did in a video a while back? It wasn't that long back, it was like a, a month ago or something, I think, I don't really remember. But I kind of based it off of this turret right here. Because this was in Barnes & Noble when I went in there one time. Actually, not that, uh, like, uh, two months ago or something it was in there. Or not two months ago, because obviously that was back in, like, last year, and this came out. It was, like, back in early January, I think. And that turn was super cool. I based the turn off of that, except that piece wasn't released at the time, I don't think. So I had to swap it out with a different one. That's a cool speeder. And that looks like something out of The Mandalorian. That looks, just looks like a scout trooper. It doesn't look like a snow trooper. That just looks like a scout trooper. Except for maybe the uh, chest piece right there. That looks like a snow trooper. That just looks like one of the scout troopers in Mandalorian on their speeder bikes. But I kind of like that. You got you know, this snow peak over here with this uh, snow trooper with a, a blaster uh, in it. It looks like a heavy blaster. This guy's got an assault. That's an officer. And that's a turn. I don't know what this guy would have. Uh, but that is a cool set. How much is it? 20. Ooh, not worth it, I would say. Battle pack, in my opinion, should at the most cost 15 bucks. At the most, I would say. That's what most battle packs should cost. But that is a... It's a cool set, definitely. You're getting some cool minifigures and some cool bikes and equipment and stuff like that. And this and a snow peak. Um, but... Worth 20 bucks, I wouldn't say so. They're micro stuff. I haven't gotten many... Mi I don't think I actually... No, scratch. I haven't gotten any micro stuff. Just because I haven't found much need for it. But this one... This one actually kind of... Cool. I like these blasters right here. This kind of... does This mold... This Lego piece right here. I like this Lego piece for designing stuff. It's super cool. And then you have these... Uh, the kind of barrels that are on the Razor Crest. And the Mando Mini for a full Beskar armor with the whistling birds. And his blaster on the other hand. That's really cool. I don't want to say about this. It's a micro fight. There's not much to say about it. How much is it? Uh, ten bucks. For what you get, I say that's fair. Most micro fighters and stuff are ten bucks. I'd say that's fair for what you're getting. It is a cool set. I will say I might get it. It's a cool set. The Hoth ATST. Yeah, see, so the ATST is the two-legged things. The ATATs are the four-legged things. I think. So it looks like you're getting an officer up here with a, an assault. Rebel Trooper and a probe. Looks like we got a new design for the Imperial Probe. A new design for the ATST as well. We got Chewbacca down here with his bow caster. Looks like it's a decent. It looks like we might be getting a new mold for Chewbacca. Uh, I mean, they don't really. They didn't really change much in the ATST. It looks about the same as all the other ones I've seen. Get maybe a bit more cleaner. Like I got the rusty one from Mandalorian the first season. I got that one, and then my brother got the one from uh, Rogue One. The AT, AT, uh, ATST set from Rogue One. Uh, it doesn't look like, the, like that looks different, and that looks different. And maybe like the feet look different, but everything else looks the same. Looks like the same build. So it's just kind of boring, maybe they didn't change much about the ATST. And it's 50 bucks. But for all you who like like collecting all of this stuff, I'd say that's a good deal. 50 bucks for the... That's what you, most stuff costs. The Dark Trooper attack. I remember the scene in Mandalorian Season 2. It's part where Luke comes in, absolutely destroys and dismantles a bunch of Dark Troopers. I like the Dark Troopers. They're super cool minifigures. I don't like them. Well, I guess they're okay in the show, but I really like the minifigures. And I, the only way you could buy them, at least last year, was in the Moff Gideon's Light Cruiser, which is like 160 bucks, And you only got one. This one getting three. Also, uh, a new Luke, it looks like. It looks like a new hood piece, too. It doesn't look like a connection. It looks like just a head piece. Which is kind of cool. I like it. And you get three Dark Troopers and a new Luke. I'd say this set is definitely cool. I might buy it. I don't know. It's... 30 bucks. Mm. Maybe 20. We have a more appropriate price. 
I had to drink another drink of water. Uh, I'm not sure if 30 is appropriate for this. It's a cool set, don't get me wrong, but I'm not sure it's just worth 30 bucks. Uh, let's keep moving. The Mandalorian and One Starfighter from Book of Boba Fett, except it was from like the Mandalorian episodes. Um, you get the Dark Sable, which is cool, along with the Mandalorian. You get Grogu! And it looks, is that the guy from uh, Jedi Fallen Order? BD, whatever his name is. You also get the girl who helps him out with the Starfighter and stuff like that. Uh, that is a cool, it's an updated Naboo Starfighter. I will probably be buying this Lego set. This set is cool. It's got some torpedoes. I haven't seen those things in a while. Oh, you guys remember those little torpedo pieces that used to go in those, a uh, bunch of those sets? It don't look like that's what it's meant to be, but it looks like those are the parts they use. It's super cool. It's like, it's kind of refreshing not to see just another golden Naboo star. I like how they did it, but they got the silver and blue. It works really well. I really like this. That's a cool set. How much is it? 60 bucks okay it is not worth that much it's 412 pieces everyone i feel like lego is just increasing their prices and stuff like that which they are doing for stuff but it just that's not worth 60 bucks i would say that's a 40 dollar lego set in my opinion 40 dollars it what looks like it should be but it's 60 bucks that is steep it's a cool set i'm not sure if i'm gonna be i'm not sure hey, that's expensive Okay, I really hope they keep making Book of Boa Fett sets because we got the Boa Fett throne room. Not my favorite set, I have to admit. I don't like how Fennec Shan turned out. Just something about her face and the hair piece they used just doesn't. I don't like that. Boa Fett looks the exact same, but of course he would look the exact same. I mean, I get that a Nikto guard could be there at his palace. A Gamorian guard. It's a cool Gamorian guard. We got an updated Gamorian guard. I kind of like that minifigure. Uh, I forgot what those guys are called. Quarren. That's what I think they're called. A Quarren minifigure over here. I guess, again, he could be... Because right now it's Big Fortuna's palace. So I guess he could have been there, I guess. Big Fortuna, that's a, a good representation of what Big Fortuna looked like when Bofet came in and just absolutely destroyed everyone. Here's my morning. Who is this? Who is this random woman? She was not there at all, I think there was a there was a Twi'lek there when Bofa came in, but she was actually she was actually wearing clothes, uh, unlike most of Jabba the Hutt and most uh, crime lord slaves uh, wear. She was actually wearing clothes. Didn't have pink hair. Didn't have claws for feet. I don't even. Well, who are you? The reason I wanted Book of Buffett says I want a Kersantin minifigure. Black Kersantin. I want that minifigure so, so bad. I drank all my water and my throat's starting to hurt again. But I want Black Kersantin to be a minifigure so bad. I hope they keep making Book of Boba Fett sets. I want that minifigure so bad to be made. I mean, the, pal the palace is okay. If Black Kersantin was in this, like, take out this lady... And put in Black Kersantin, even though I guess he wasn't there. But then again, this lady wasn't there. Ugh. I would maybe actually buy this set. Even though Fennec Shand isn't the greatest looking uh, in this Lego form. I think the helmet works best with the Fennec Shand minifigure. But, I mean, this isn't good. And it's $100 for 732 pieces. So you can either get this set... That's 730 pieces for 100. Or you get that Ninjago set up there that was over, that was almost 1400 pieces for the same price. I just, mm, not great. I'm not gonna look at the helmets. I mean, I'll give you, I'll give you guys, look. I'm not gonna talk about this. It's just Luke's characters, Red 5 helmet. I just don't tend to buy these kind of helmets because you can't do much with them. I bought the big uh, Grogu. Uh, I mean, if I my brother got him for, uh, got me it for Christmas Eve a couple years ago. You can't do much of it, but it's kind of fun to have, like, those giant minifigure things. I found those really cool. And is that all Star Wars that we've gotten through? We got another Dark Trooper helmet. That's interesting. Batman. Okay, I gotta hurry this up, because I still gotta get one more video done, but it's not gonna be uh, super... It's gonna be super short, pretty much. Um... The new Batman movie that they're making. My sister and brother said they want to see it. I'll watch it just because it looks interesting. Uh, this set ain't great. 
It's just two bikes in the bat signal. That's literally all it is. And for any reason, a chain. I don't know why there's a chain here. You gonna lock down your bike, Catwoman? Or Batman, you gonna lock down your bike to the bat signal? That's a cool Batman. I was that's a cool Batman minifigure. Ah, not a great Catwoman. I mean, it's okay, but the Batman minifigure is definitely spot on. It's very nice Batman minifigure. That's a cool bat signal too. Uh, fifteen bucks actually. That's that's decent for what you're getting. I say that's good for what you're getting. Fifteen bucks is definitely fair for what you're getting. One, the Batman penguin. Why does the penguin have hair? Why? I mean, maybe he has hair in some things you guys seen, but most stuff I've seen the penguin, he's usually bald or has like very, very little hair. Not like this guy has like full hair. The face is good. That's a cool. Again, I like that mold for a like, gun and stuff. He has two guns. Looks like the little uh, machine pistol right here, and again, that thing. Again, the Batman. That is a cool Batmobile. I will agree. That's a cool Batmobile. Look, I don't know what the blue flame is. What's the what's with the blue flame? Doesn't flame? What? I just went to like a southern accent. Flame. Uh, I don't know what the blue flame is for. Uh, but I like these two. That. Mm. I could get by the hair piece because it's a cool. It's purple, which is obviously Penguin's main color. I like that. That's a decent. How much is it? Thirty bucks. Nope, not worth it in my opinion. You're literally paying it for pretty much the car and Batman. Pretty much what you're paying for. It. Batcave, the Riddler, face off. <clears throat> it looks like you get the Riddler, whoever he's played by, whoever this guy is. Uh, Commissioner Gordon, Batman, Catwoman, Alfred. Here's the one thing I'm wondering about the Batman movie. Why is Alfred played by Andy Serkis? He's a excellent actor, no doubt, but is he good for Alfred? Alfred's supposed to be like a really, really old butler. Andy Serkis is pretty young. I'm just not sure he's the best for Alfred. He does a good voice for I've seen the trailer, he does a good voice for Alfred, just I'm not sure he Comic book wise, following on the comic book wise, age wise, Alfred should be a lot older than Andy Serkis is. But what do I? I don't know that much about Batman stuff. The Batcave design is super cool. Kind of the clock up here, the map over here, the weapons and tools and stuff, and that kind of stuff about the Riddler up here. I like that. That's kind of cool. 80 bucks for 581 pieces. That is not great. <laughs> I'm trying to speed this up because I want to go to bed, ladies and gentlemen. Keep going down. We got the Wolverine mech on. I, I hope they bring back. I hope they bring back X Men Lego sets. I didn't get to buy any of them when they first came out, and now they're super overpriced. But I hope that it's a sign that they're gonna bring back more X Men stuff because I love the designs of that stuff are super cool. There's so much stuff they didn't do. They didn't do an Iceman minifigure. They didn't do Pyro or Juggernaut or Sauron or Toad or I don't think they even did a Jean Grey. I think they did Cyclops, Storm, Magneto, Wolverine, and Deadpool, and there was a Sentinel, but that was it. I'm pretty sure. But we could get, like, a bunch of other X-Men characters. That'd be so cool. The This set is cool. I like the... I'll probably buy this when it comes out. It's not out yet, because you see right here. Uh, but it's a cool design. The way they did this kind of long sword pieces right here. And Wolverine with the cow... I feel like it'd be cool if you could... It would come with his hair piece. But the cow I'm fine with. And the claws are really good. The mech design is super nice. It's... It's... It's nice. I was like... I'm just trying to speed this up. Iron Man mech armor. That is a cool design. Again, like the gun piece. That is like a shield or something. So like a plasma shield. It's super cool. I like that. That's a cool Iron Man minifigure too. <clears throat> um, the gold and red is fine. That's classic Iron Man color. So yeah, this is accurate and it's a cool looking set that I would probably buy when it comes out. Both of these are going to be 10 bucks, by the way. All mechs are 10 bucks. Uh, Black Panther mech armor. Okay, this is just one of those sets that had the potential to be super big, but they just missed their chance completely. The armor itself is cool. The feet design, I don't like that. It just does it doesn't look stable. The claw design is fine. I like the claw design for like Black Panther. That piece is cool up here, and the chest piece. It just the feet and the legs look really skinny and stuff like that. And they should have put a helmet on Black Panther. 
I just don't, that doesn't look like Chadwick. Again, rest in peace. I've had a lot of rest in peace in these past few videos. Uh, but that does not look like Chadwick Boseman. At all. Doesn't even look like Black Panther in the comics or TV shows or anything. Also, he doesn't have Wolverine claws. I would have given him something else. Uh, if you guys played the old Lego Marvel Super Heroes 1 game, giving like the saber tooth stuff, that I, would, I wouldn't have been greatly fond of that. I would have been fine with it because it would have been like, a little bit more accurate. He doesn't have Wolverine claws. He shouldn't have those Lego pieces on his hands. It's 10 bucks. The mech is okay, I guess. The minifigure is not great. It's not a cool set, in my opinion. Gargantos, Gargantos Showdown. This is from the new Doctor Strange movie. It says right, so right down here. It's a cool design. There was a design flaw in it, actually, but I'm assuming they fixed it by now because it's in stores. That's Wong. Doctor, that's a cool cape for Doctor Strange. You don't actually have to put it on. You just, it looks like it's just a kind of back piece for it. That is America Chavez. I know that for sure. I want to see the Doctor Strange movie because I like the I like how Bandit coming back portrays him. I don't like all the Doctor Strange stands. I like Bandit coming back as an actor, pretty much. I don't really like all the Doctor Strange stands because most of his fights are demons. So I don't know if this is supposed to be a demon or not. That's probably why I'm not gonna buy it. It's a cool set, but I'm probably not gonna buy it just because this looks kind of demonic and stuff. And also, I. The reason I don't really think I'm going to be able to see the movie is, again, he fights mostly demons. He has a bunch of spells and stuff. It's supposed to be the first ever Marvel horror movie. And also, America Chavez in it. And if you guys don't know about America Chavez, in the comics, again, it's just, I have a feeling they're going to put in that same agenda. But I wish they would have... If they could have, like, focused more on Doctor Strange and, like, uh, Infinity War and Endgame, that would have been cool, but, eh, it's whatever. But I'm not gonna be buying the set. It's up to you guys what you guys want to do with it. It's 30 bucks for 264 pieces. Not the greatest, but whatever. Iron Man figure. I was hoping this is gonna be, like, a thing to bring back buildable figures. It's not. It's literally a Lego just build up the figure. It's not. This is all okay. The legs are cool. Arms are... It could be better. Chest piece is okay. The head piece is what gets me. Look, it just... It's like a diamond. Why is his head like a diamond shape? I don't understand that. The arc reactor is a good piece right there. And these repulsor glasses are fine. Like I said, the leg pieces are super good. They look stable and stuff. It's just the... the mm, not great. And it's 40 bucks for this. Not great. You got Thor's hand. Another one of those pieces. This actually... Uh, because, like, Mjolnir in the grams, you could actually leave this. As long as you would have to use it for anything, you could just leave it there. Also, come with, I would say, the Tesseract, the Infinity Gauntlet, with all the gems, it looks like, too, and the Eternal Flame. You got a new Thor minifigure, it looks like, and then just a giant Mjolnir. You could probably lift it up with your hand, actually. I would not recommend uh, using it as Mjolnir, because it will break into a thousand pieces, most likely. Um, But it's a cool Lego. I would agree there. The detail on Mjolnir is definitely there. The little band piece right here. These little silver stuff going around the hilt. And you got this part right here. It's $100. Not even a 1,000 pieces. It's almost a 1,000 pieces. 979 I'd say it's probably worth what you're getting. It's a cool set. Another Marvel set. Spider-Man Green Goblin Mech Battle. Those are both really cool. I like the mech design for Green Goblin. Two pumpkin shooters, I would assume. That's a cool Green Goblin minifigure. Spider-Man looks the exact same like he does in usual stuff. Just because he has the same outfit. That's a cool Spider-Man mech. 296 pieces. You're not actually getting a picture of it uh, for some reason. You're actually just you're getting the box picture. I'm not sure why. It's cool. Uh, don't get me wrong. It is cool. Uh, I might buy it when it comes out. I might not. I don't really know. It's supposed to be 20 bucks, so it's not bad for two mechs. Yeah, for two mechs, so 10 bucks for each mech. So, yeah, you're getting a, a fair price for two mechs. 20 bucks, so, yeah. Oh, uh, what else? I don't care about Speed Champions. Ooh, Jurassic World stuff. Um, Pterodon Chase. Okay, I'm assuming it's supposed to be the girl from Fallen King. That's supposed to be Owen. That's a cool... I'm just really going to be reviewing the dino. This looks like a junior set. Again, it looks like a junior set. That looks like a, a toddler belt. This looks like a toddler belt. Dude, here's what I'm running. 
Why does Owen have Wonder Woman's lasso of truth? You couldn't, Lego, you couldn't have just made another lasso piece. You had to just put in that. The pterodon is cool, I will say. The pterodon is nice. But, uh, you're paying how much is this supposed to be? Oh, I don't even say, so I'm not even going to be able to see how much. But you're literally paying it for it, the pterodon. That's it. T-Rex Breakout. Interesting color to you. I like the Jurassic World sets because each, uh, it's kind of like it'll let you play Ark with Lego. The more dinosaurs they make, the more colors they give them, the more dinosaur, uh, species they make, the more stuff you can tame in Lego and stuff like that, like an Ark. Don't know who that is or that. That's a cool looking Owen. And that's a cool looking T-Rex and, uh, I don't, this looks like a toddler built it. It lo looked a helicopter. It's literally, what is this propeller? It looks like a toddler built this, too. It's a cool Owen and T-Rex, but that's pretty much it. Atrociraptor Dinosaur Bike Chase. Oh, this is actually a, a cool-looking set. This doesn't look like a toddler. This actually looks... Oh, you got the amber piece from the old guy's uh, cane. It looks like over here. You got two baby raptors. That's a cool-looking Owen. I don't know... Who is that? I don't know who this is supposed to be. It looks like a cool minifigure. I don't know for sure until I see the movie, until I find out if they're a bad guy or a good guy or something else. I don't really know. It's like a Triceratops baby skull, maybe, or just a skull here. You got Owen the Mosaic. Is that supposed to be a Atrocy Raptor? There we go. That's a cool looking mold for the dinosaur. It's again a new dinosaur mold, so that's cool. Gets a little archway and stuff. Yeah, this is a cool set. Blue and Beta Velociraptor. Oh, Blue had a little baby dinosaur. Again, no idea who this is. This doesn't look like... This looks like a, a common Lego set. You got new colors for Blue and her baby, it looks like. That's a... It's a bicycle. That's not a motorcycle. That's a bicycle. Um, I guess that's what she's riding. Um, we don't know how long this takes place after Fallen Kingdom, so... We don't know how old she's gotten. Because she also is a clone. So we don't know if they if she has a different aging process or anything. That's a cool blue. Looks like the they made the baby raptors a little bit taller than they used to be. Um, but that's a cool truck and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, you can tell I'm I just said I just said this is a cool truck. Yeah, I'm tired. It's twelve oh three. I've been doing this since eleven something. Please tell me we're almost over. Quetzal. Okay, again, this is a cool set. It looks like I'm with Claire, Owen, whoever that is. A giant plane. It looks like a reptile. And a Quetzal. That is actually cool. But look, it's not like a pterodon piece. It has these little connectors right here. That means the wings are actually decently large. And the thing's going to be large. So that might be a representation of an actual Quetzal. That's going to be cool to see the actual size of this. We got T-Rex and a Trophy Raptor. Another Trophy Raptor dinosaur breakout. And we got a T-Rex. Uh, that's a cool looking... Okay, this is actually me saying this is a cool truck. The way they did this. And the archway and the Trophy Raptor. That looks like maybe... Uh, Laura Dern's character. Maybe. I don't. can't say for sure. I don't really know. But it's a cool set. I'm trying to rush through these. I'm so tired. We got some new, who are you supposed to, I have no idea who this guy's supposed to be, or that. That guy is wearing Mary Jane's sweatshirt from the Hydro Man, Spider-Man, Far Far From Home Lego set. That's Mary Jane's piece. Go back and look at it. That is the piece that they use for this. They couldn't have just made a different sweatshirt or just gotten an actual male sweatshirt. They had to use a girl's head, uh, chest piece. That's supposed to be Claire in a black suit, I'm assuming. Got another black truck and a green ATV. That's a cool Triceratops. Well, the scratch stuff, that's a cool looking Triceratops. Pyro Raptors, Lost Source Transport. Um. Oh, we got uh, Jeff Golden's character. Yeah, and there's Laura. Oh, so I guess that wasn't Laura Dern up there, because that is Laura Dern right there, and that's supposed to be Claire, I'm assuming. Uh, the Lost Source is fine. The Pyro Raptor. You guys remember, like, those old, 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 like, Dino Hunter Lego sets? They're on here. You can check them out for yourself, like, Dinosaur Hunter or just Dinosaur or whatever. Like, they don't actually have any Lego pieces on them. Like this. They have, like, a little thing to, like, show you it's a Lego. This is just straight smooth. I mean, it's okay. I kind of like it. It just, it doesn't seem actual Lego to me. I might buy the set because I like Pyro. The It's like a Pyroaptor, and you can use it to do stuff with Ark and stuff. 
it just it doesn't look Lego to me. These are obviously Lego. Just the back. It, they're supposed to have something on the back usually. Well, do Raptors have that? The Lego Velociraptors have that? I'm not sure. Just to me, this seems. This seems not like Lego. This part. This doesn't seem Lego to me. We got T Rex breakout. Oh, an actual Lego built T Rex, not a mold. That's actually kind of cool. We got the two kids. We got Alan Grand, we got Jeff Gold Goldblum's character, the T-Rex breakout. Boy, do I hate being right all the time. Ian Malcolm. Uh, too true. Um, it's a cool set. It's a cool how they actually built the T-Rex for this, so that's decent. Keep moving now. Overwatch sets. They brought back... I, I can't play the Overwatch game because of the agenda that they put in Overwatch. They made like five different characters have that agenda. They made this is Overwatch 2, so I'm not sure if they're going to change that maybe for Overwatch 2. I have an Overwatch set downstairs that was super fun to build. So maybe this one will be fun to build when it comes out. Does it say how much it's supposed to be? No, it does not. 901 pieces are probably really expensive. It looks like they come with May and Tracer. That's a cool looking design for May. Tracer looks the exact same, but May actually looks, because that's the first May minifigure we've ever gotten. So May actually looks decent. Looks like she looks in game, I think. I don't really know. The Titan, uh, that's a really cool looking robot. It was like a one, two, three, four, five, six guns. That's what's going this giant laser right here. That's super cool. We'll see what happens with that. Okay, I'm going to stop after this one because I don't really care about Monkey Kid. Horizon Forbidden West Tall Neck. I don't know anything about Horizon. The Horizon, I'm assuming this is a Tall Neck. <clears throat> this is supposed to be like a robo dog or after or something. That's the Horizon quote that they added into Fortnite. That is a cool set, I will say. I might buy this when it comes out. Is it already out? It's not. Because here's the thing. It's 1,222 pieces for 80 bucks. You can get 80 bucks for the 512 Batman set. Or you can spend the 80 bucks and get a set this. Which this is actually cool. It's way more pieces. I actually really do like this set. And I hope you also guys like this video. Boy, I'm so tired. I only got to do this one video. But it's just showing you guys what I'm going to be doing for a new series coming up. With K-Brave Studios, hopefully. Because it's going to be super hard by myself. But I hope you all did enjoy this video. Make sure you hit the like button. And subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all in the next one. Good night. And God bless.